Hello everyone, I'm James, your host. We are here with Russell Kane. He is an expert, a writer, and he's won loads of prizes uh, concerning fantasy football. And he's here to talk about Poland and how Poland's going to fare in the World Cup. So he's done some thinking, he's done some research, he's got the numbers, he's got the tips for us. And he's going to tell us uh, some of the best bets that we can put when it, when it comes to Poland. And since we're talking about Poland, why don't we have some sausages? Look, these are authentic, amazing Polish sausages. Nice. So, uh, not later. Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> try to try to focus on the video. They're too good. I can still smell them, by the way. Someone move them away. Anyway, okay. So Poland. This is the first World Cup since 2006, right? So tell us uh, who they had to beat to get there. So they topped their qualifying group uh, mm -hmm. with eight wins, one draw, one loss. They beat Denmark, Montenegro, and Romania to win in their group, but they did lose four 0 away to Denmark. So mm. they they are. They can slip up from time to time. Okay, so uh, should Polish fans feel confident um, about their group at the finals, do you think? Definitely, definitely. They've been handed arguably the easiest group. They're with Colombia, Senegal and Japan in Group H, and they're the best-ranked team in that group. So, mm. yeah, they've they've got a nice group. Nice. But they're probably fighting Colombia for top spot. It's mm. going to be the, between those two. Colombia qualified uh, one point behind Argentina, and we know how good Argentina are. So it's between those two. They play each other in the second game of that group on the 24th of June. Uh -huh. um, but based on Poland's excellent qualifying and being ranked higher, the bet to put on is Poland to win Group H. Okay, so uh, assuming they get through that phase, uh, who will they play in the last 16? If they get through, they will play... Someone from Group G, basically. Mm. And the best two teams in that group are Belgium and England. I see. Uh, Belgium, you'd expect them to be. England, as an England fan, you never know with England. But as an England fan, I'd put my money on England if we play if we pay Poland. Okay. I shouldn't say that on camera, but... He said it. But, yeah, I've got to say that. So I think Poland will win their group. But when they face Belgium or England in the last 16, game over. Well, they got a pretty special player in Robert, Robert Lewandowski, right? That's right, right yeah. So, uh, does he have a chance of finishing top scorer of the World Cup? It probably, d it depends on how far you think Poland will go. If, if, if it's right and they go in the last 16, probably not. That's only four games. But if they go, if they play six, seven games, yeah, he's got a definite chance. He's that good. He scored 16 goals in qualifying in 10 games. Damn. Top goal scorer in qualifying, which is crazy. He scored 29 goals in 30 games in the Bundesliga. Almost one in one in one, which is also an awesome record. Champions League, five goals in eleven games for Bayern Munich. Not so great, one in two, but it's still it's still reasonable. So yeah, he's a great player. But the bet to look at for Lewandowski is that he's either the top goal scorer for Poland mm -hmm. and the top goal scorer in Group H. So rather than overall. Okay, well, thank you for your tips and uh, thank you for doing the research for us because uh, we're just lazy bastards, aren't we? Anyway, yeah, thank you, Russell, and uh, I, I've just been waiting this whole time to eat those sausages, I'm sweating. Uh, so let's get, let's, get, let's get to it, shall we? Are you hungry as well? Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, go. <laughs> let's go. See ya, see ya next time.